Seterusnya, pindaan Ordinan Bangunan Sarawak atau SBO bakal dibentang di Persidangan Dun Sarawak pada Oktober tahun ini. Timbalan Premier Sarawak, Datuk Seri Dr. Sim Kui Hian berkata, cadangan pindaan ini adalah untuk memastikan undang-undang bangunan bersesuaian dengan keadaan semasa. Recent one because all these uh, uh, bomba the community uh, the professional uh, putting in so much effort right and and to refine it to bring Sarawak out to the, uh, what we expected as a progressive uh, Sarawak they, they are trying their best uh, yeah, because they got so many issues uh, our SAG had to address our health autonomy our our uh, education autonomy. All these autonomy are based on law. They are based on our Malaysia agreement. They are based on Malaysia agreement. And so it's not because we have no law and we just demand this, we demand that. No. Pada masa sama, Dr. Sim yang juga Menteri Kesihatan Awam, Perumahan dan Kerajaan Tempatan Sarawak berkata, beliau akan berbincang dengan Kementerian Pembangunan dan Kerajaan Tempatan KPKT dalam usaha menyediakan kategori baru bagi projek perumahan. In terms of your Sarawak is so wide, right? So uh, the, if based on West Malaysia's uh, fire risk, right, we will have very, very few Balai Bomba. But, but same as it's similar like, to hospital that I kept talking about, so hospital, the uh, specialist and so on. If for Sarawak, we cannot be based on sheer population. We must take geographical uh, into consideration. So we had, we have proposed setting out new categories. Uh, uh, Sarawak government proposed to Malaysia to the Minister of KPKT that for Sarawak it need a new categories and based on that category, then it will address our fire risk in Sarawak.